What's up, Ginger Cornets? So we're getting Gen 9 later this year, apparently, meaning Pokemon Journeys is probably in its last season, and I have so many mixed emotions about this. On the one hand, yeah, three seasons does seem to be the average nowadays, but on the other hand, it sort of feels like it just started. I don't know, maybe it's because it doesn't have the typical journey structure a lot of other series did, ironically enough, but I just feel like there's still a ways to go. But hey, they've rushed series before, looking at you Kalos League. But what if this isn't the end? Because one idea I've seen going around is that Pokemon Journeys can go into Gen 9, which at first glance does seem pretty feasible. Especially when you look at the Japanese title of the series, which is just Pocket Monsters. It's almost like they're trying not to make the series dated. I mean, that's probably why they didn't make it a Sword and Shield anime. But honestly, the more I thought about this, the less likely it seemed. For example, example, what happens when the Pokemon World Championships end? Does a new season just begin with Ash in the normal class again? I mean, it seems kind of weird considering Ash already has a fully developed team. Would he just cycle in new members or drop the team completely? Also, how would Go work? Like, they could keep Go around and keep Project Mew going, but he is sort of a time capsule of Gen 8. His three core team members at the moment are literally the Galar starters. Would they have to be replaced? place with the new ones considering they have a new game to promote? There just seems to be all these little things they would have to change or tweak that it might just be better to start a new series. Now one thing they could do is go back to a more traditional formula, with Ash traveling around a new region. They could also create a pretty easy transition from Journeys, with Ash visiting the new region on a research task and then deciding to stay there. And then from there, Go could probably do something Project Mew related, and that would be how they write him off. But that does raise another little issue. Power scaling. Because at this point, Ash is just busted. I don't think they can make him go through another region like he used to. Like, I guess they nerfed him a bit for black and white, and the fans just reacted lovely to that. But Ash is now canonically stronger than any trainer in the Unova region, so they'd have to make this new region pretty freaking tough. Which then raises the question, why is no one from there in the World Championships if they're that good? Oh my god, could you imagine if they pulled a Harrison and then had Leon or Ash get defeated by a trainer from the new region and so Ash is like, time to travel there next? I really hope they don't resort to that kind of plot device. But everything I've discussed up until now does rely on one big assumption, that Ash is still gonna be the main character. I mean, just take a look at all the characters from Ash's past returning in the new opening. Doesn't it almost feel like they're trying to give him some kind of big send-off? And as weird as this sounds, I'm starting to think that Ash leaving the show, at least as a main character, is a lot more likely than him returning. They would probably keep the anime in the same continuity but introduce a new protagonist, potentially switching them out every new series just like the Adventures manga. This is actually how famous Pokemon anime writer Takeshi Shudo wanted things to go, with a new protagonist each series that grows alongside the audience. And as much as I love Ash, I can't deny that this approach does make things seem like they would be a bit fresher. Plus, it's not like he'd be gone entirely, they could always bring old characters back, they do that in the manga all the time. But not having the character be the main focus would allow them to do things like, you know, get older. Plus, they could continue to do yearly movies featuring the alternate universe version of Ash. Then everyone would be happy, right? Ah, uh, who am I kidding, it's the Pokemon fanbase. But yeah, winning the World Championships does feel like the best send-off they could give him. But then the question is, who would be the new protagonist? Now, Pokemon Pokemon Journeys did do something pretty interesting with Go, by making him more of a secondary protagonist rather than a travel companion. I've seen a lot of people saying the reason they did this was to test the waters with a new protagonist and maybe have Go take over. Except I did already kind of explain why I don't think this is gonna happen. So is that it? Are they just not gonna tie Journeys into things at all? Well, keep in mind, there is a third character. That's right, I think it's about time we talk about Chloe. So Chloe's arc throughout Journeys is basically her deciding on a goal for herself and what she wants to do, because let's face it, going to school is boring and won't lead to anywhere in life in the Pokemon world. So what's the current plan then? Is Journeys just gonna have her figure out what she wants to do and then that's it, she's out of the show? That would be like if Serena didn't realize she wanted to be a performer until like the final episode.
episode of X, Y, and Z. But this eventual goal Chloe ends up getting could tie into the new games, which is why she'd want to travel to the new region, see where I'm getting at? That being said, I think there is one major hurdle to Chloe becoming the new main character of the anime. She doesn't have a Pikachu. Now to be fair, she does have an Eevee, who is kind of the secondary mascot at this point, but I don't think they'd have a main character without a Pikachu. So instead they would probably have Chloe, and then at least one other character to get that Pikachu covered. Now we could just assume this will be a new character, or a protagonist from the new games, cause Pikachu's in the new game, I mean shocker really, but there is a more creative option I think they could go with. In Japan, there is a very short-lived manga series in the magazine Chao, Daisuke Pocket Monsters, featuring Chloe and her friend from school, Mika, who just so happens to have a Pikachu. So there we go, here's our new duo for the next Pokemon anime. Now do I think they're actually gonna do this and have this manga which according to Dogasu's backpack is literally 8 pages total and just about Mika meeting cute Pokemon and saying that they're cute be the source of inspiration for the next anime series? Yeah, why not? That being said, there is a little hurdle with Mika being a new main character, and there's no non-awkward way of putting this. So remember this picture of her holding a Pikachu I showed you? Yeah, this actually isn't her Pikachu, turns out it's Ash's Pikachu, so I guess we'd still have to get her a Pikachu somehow, maybe Ash could lend her his? I mean, hey, going back to the manga, if this Pikachu and this Pikachu are the same, hmm, you know, they could make this work. They could totally make Mika trying to learn how to control Ash's level 1 million or whatever Pikachu, just like, I don't know, Deku trying to learn how to use one for all. Okay, the more I think about it, I don't think Mika's gonna end up being a main character. But back to the main focus point, we're really in a crossroads with what the future of Pokemon's gonna be. There's gonna be a new anime series, they're not ending it here. But this really does seem like the end of an era. The Pokemon anime turns 25 this year, and 25 seasons of the same main character, a quarter of a century? That's a lot. Maybe it's time for a new main character, for a new direction to the show, or time for an already existing character to step into the spotlight. Only time will tell, because at this point, I don't think anything's truly off the table. I'm just saying though, the female protagonist's hair does look kinda similar to Chloe's, just like, shrunk down a bit. Just something to keep in mind. Hey, been a while since I talked to you guys in one of these end card things. So as you probably noticed, I'm trying something new with the channel, and that is making shorts. In the past, a problem I faced is that I would make a lot of shorter videos and longer videos, and it was kinda random which one came out, just depends on what was happening. So I decided to focus my time and energy into making the longer content, and then I'm just gonna make shorts in between to sort of give my thoughts on current episodes, or just, I don't know, do something fun and stupid. But yeah, I'm gonna see how this goes, but not focusing as much energy on the shorter content will allow me to make videos that are longer and a lot higher quality. But definitely let me know what you guys think, because right now I don't have a ton of time, but I want to still make the best quality content I can for you guys, so I think this is a good solution that'll also be a lot of fun. Anyway, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later, Gator Taters!